Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Geneva. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, we are going to discuss a few things base. So I grabbed the convertible mini weekender and then I also grabbed the cosmetic pouch set in Atlas Pink. So if you want to hear my take on it, then please continue to watch. Okay, jumping right in. So in case you're not familiar, the company is Base. It was co-founded by actress Shay Mitchell, who starred in Pretty Little Liars and also Netflix's show You. So she's a pretty frequent traveler. And so she came into the travel industry and basically took over. I have seen her company and their products everywhere and it's definitely well deserved because a lot of the items are well thought of, especially if you're a frequent traveler, you'll realize a lot of the things are well thought out and things that are essential to making your life easier when you are traveling. So let's go ahead and dig into what I picked up. So here she is, the mini Weekender convertible. And so I picked up this specific bag because I was looking for a personal item to take on the plane, not necessarily a carry on where you have to put into an overhead bin. I don't, I travel all the time and I don't ever do that because I personally want to have access to whatever I am taking with me on the plane and I'm not a minimalist so I'm overpacking there's going to be check luggage so when I am looking for just like a personal item I just want something that I can easily access on the plane and that can sit in front of me um, under the seat and so I've watched a ton of reviews and I've seen other people travel internationally and domestic and they are able to fit this specific bag under your seat, and especially if you take off the bottom compartment. So a little bit about these bags, um, I will have the dimensions somewhere on the screen so that way you can see there are three different versions of the Weekender, so it can be kind of confusing. So the Weekender is the larger bag, and that one retails for, I wanna say, 108 um and it comes in a plethora of colors which are so pretty and then there is the mini weekender which is this exact bag except for the bottom is not detachable and there is a pouch on the inside versus and that one retails for i want to say 98 i'll have the prices on the screen this is the most expensive one and this is the mini weekender um convertible and i think it's more expensive because this bottom is completely detachable and on the inside there is a laptop sleeve that you can actually take out which i like when you're going through security and you have to take out your laptop you can just take that pouch and put it in its own little bin and one thing that i can say she released a ton of beautiful colors However, this bag only comes in three colors. So you can only get it in black, gray, and beige. The other ones come in, I think, eight different colors and like purples and orange and green, beautiful, beautiful colors and also pink. However, I decided to go with the classic black because you can't go wrong with black. And I wanted something that matched the luggage that I already have and my travel accessories that I already have. And I have been on planes they can be nasty things can happen things can spill and i just prefer to have black i think it's just the easiest way uh to travel so let's go ahead and dig into the basics of this specific bag so i like on the bottom it has base written right there it has two handles here but like i told you guys because i'm a maximalist i like the fact that it also has a detachable strap so that way you can carry it over your shoulder that is essential it has a pocket right here in the front which is what i would use in order to keep like boarding pass passport um maybe some pins all that kind of stuff so that way i can just easily access it on the back this doubles as a pocket, can't get anything through. You unzip it 
and it becomes a trolley pass. This is so great before, like when you're first getting to the airport and you haven't checked in your luggage yet and you have um, a roll on, it's great to just put that handle up, stick this on, and then you're not worrying about carrying everything. Then once you get through security and you've dropped off your luggage, you can just use either the strap or the two handles and don't wanna use it, close it up and use it as a pouch. So on the inside, and mine has just like been stuck. So once you fill it up, it'll be able to keep it shaped, but that's why it keeps kind of reverting back because it's just been in the bag. So I'm just going to unzip this so I can show you the inside. So this is what I'm saying is the detachable laptop holder you can add ipad all kinds of electronic devices i like that there's pockets in this one because you can keep like your charger and all that kind of great stuff and then it also has base written right there and delco strap stick your laptop in there and you're good to go so i would just simply take this out put this in the bin and keep it moving and the other versions um the mini convert the mini weekender not the convertible the mini weekender it does not come out there's just a pouch for your actual laptop but it's not detachable so i love that and so you still have a pouch right here where you can keep things in and i'm just going to put this back in there pretty open spacious and roomy on the inside and then you'll see here you have two pouches on that right there and also a zip where you can keep other things that you want to quickly access and then just open space in the middle hopefully you can see that in there and then i like the way it closes also and then for the bottom which is what sold me on it and i'll get into detail a little bit more later but this bottom here is completely detachable i'm not going to take it completely off but just know that you can and then there is mesh lining so if you just wanted to take this pouch on its own you could or if you wanted to just take the top you could i don't like how they look separated so mine will remain together but this compartment here which a lot of people use for shoes i personally don't plan on using it for that um but I like that it's like that. So let me go ahead and show you the things and how I plan to use it. So for this specific area right here, I wanted it because I've had two children and ever since I've had them, I've noticed a difference in like my sciatic nerve. And when I'm sitting for a long time, my butt starts to hurt. So we went and I usually go on long trips, so long haul trips. I'm talking about Cape Town, South Africa, going to Greece from the United States. These are very, very far trips. And our last trip, we went to Jordan for my birthday. It was amazing. And this is the first time that I got, let me grab it. You know you're getting old when like you're excited about a butt pillow. So <laughs> I got this butt pillow right here. Let me tell y'all. And what I did was I had it um, as my, in my bag, my personal bag. I had it in there and I just took it out. And as soon as we like got through, as soon as you're like on the airplane, I took it out the bag. So that way I could immediately put it on the seat and then I sat down and then I just kept it there the entire flight. And I had absolutely no issues, like no problem. And it kept me comfortable. And I like that there is a handle on this too. So basically I plan to fold this up and stick it in this bottom. I'll do a cutaway and show you guys it better because me trying to stuff this in here is not the look. I know y'all didn't see that, but I'm gonna do a cutaway. But it's in there, it is in there. And so that's where I plan to keep that. Like, to I'm gonna grab a couple things and then I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I grabbed a stool for our little bag here so that way you guys can see it's a little bit more elevated now. And I'm just gonna show you some of the things that I would stick in it. So first up is this little travel bag. It has little airplanes in it and it's pink. It is so cute. I got this from I think TJ Maxx and I fill this thing with snacks. No matter where I'm going, no matter how long the flight is, I always carry my own snacks. And if there's something that the plane gives you and you don't want to eat it right then and there, stick it in your snack bag and that way you can have it later when you're in a pickle. You never know when you're going to need an extra snack. So just stick that in here. And then this is just a little bag that I use to keep my additional phone charger or something that I need that's just small and that I need to readily have available. And I'm gonna stick this in this front pouch. And then compression socks are a must have. Let's toss that in there. First aid kit, I just use this little one here. And of course, need your passport. And this specific passport holder it comes with a pin holder. So I like that a lot. That way I'm not looking for one when it's time to do your customs form. And I always carry some type of book. Um, I know a lot of people like to go with their planners. So I just decided to grab both of these and I'll stick those in here. So one other thing that I didn't mention that the bag has is this little key holder so that way if you wanted to attach your keys to it that you could i also like that there is a loop here because i will often bring my blanket on the plane and if you are bringing a blanket on the plane what i usually do is i will take this one out it folds up and fits right in this little pouch so i'll just unzip this I'll use this, but then if they're providing a blanket, it's usually in plastic, a plastic bag. So I'll stick that blanket in here and use it as a pillow. And if not, but I like, because you can take this and hook it on to right there if you need it to. And I'll also take that off. And if not, if I wanna have my own pillow, I have a pink one, but it's somewhere in my basement, it's somewhere in this house. But uh, yeah, so this cute little neck pillow. And anytime I have something that's like bulky like this, I will on the plane board like this. <laughs> so that way it's not taking up any space when I'm trying to stuff it under the seat in front of me. So, and if not, I use the little um, blanket pillow hack that would go in here and then I'm just going to close this up I almost forgot that I bought <laughs> the pink cosmetic pouch set so we'll just go ahead and unbag that so it has base written on it it comes with two sizes so just unplug that and here is the second little piece that also has the base written on it. So on the larger one, you have a divider in the middle, then you have an open slot here, and then this one is open, but also has a zip pouch, and you saw that it fits in here if you need to. And then here is the smaller one. Open that up, take that insert out, open pouch and then you can stick additional stuff in here so i would also carry this inside this bag i think it would fit perfectly in there one thing that i can say is that it i wanted the pink because you guys can see like my luggage how it has the pink accents on it i'm not a particular fan of this pink because it looks i don't know it looks more Mavi, this is Atlas Pink, and she came out with a collection. I want to say it was called Sakura Pink with Nordstrom. It was like a special edition just for their customers. It sold out really quickly, but they were like, Don't worry, we're coming out with our own pink. But I prefer that pink to this one, and this in comparison to all of the ads, and I will place an ad up here so that way you can guys can see. And this, I have no lighting or anything. This is just direct sunlight. So this is the true color of the product. Um, 
it's pretty it, I like it it's just it's not my favorite I don't know I just feel like the color is off I wanted it to be more pink and it looks more mauve to me but you could definitely fit a ton of stuff in here i probably use this for my makeup brushes or something like that just because of the lining on the inside so that is the cosmetic pouches in pink you get two of them i don't remember how much they retail for but i will include that somewhere up on the screen so if you are you know you just want to see how they look next to one another they definitely complement and very very pretty and i like it a lot all right so that concludes this video i hope you found it helpful in some way and if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up my name is geneva i'm so happy that you are here today comment down below if you own any base products and what are your favorite ones is there anything else that i should be on the lookout for or that i need to pick up just to add to my travel gear and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, bye.